Hello and welcome back to a new tutorial on this channel. My name is Max and this is another episode for the Adobe Experience Design tutorial series. And today's video is about creating content inside user interfaces and creating repetitive content in these interfaces. Because Adobe Experience Design offers us great features so we can easily use content and create several other versions of it. I show you what I mean right now. So just get into experience design, open up any screen, any user interface that you would like to use for this feature and then just select all the layers that you would like to use for repetitive content like I am selecting it with the mouse cursor right here. You can of course also select any of them just uh, using shift and clicking the content, but let's just use all of it. Then you can simply click right here to create a repetitive grid or you click uh, or you hit your keys comment and R to get your grid. Now you see we have these two handles right here that we can grab and that we can drag around. I can of course do it in a horizontal way which won't really help us. But I can also do it in this vertical way. And this vertical way is exactly the way that we want to use it for. Now you see as I'm dragging it down we get these beautiful aligned um, content elements and you see that we have also some spacings in between that are generated by Adobe Experience Design and we can simply say we want to drag them so just click them and on this left side right here you see a small pixel amount of how many pixel spacing we have in between these elements these content areas and we can make them smaller, we can even give them like a negative margin or we can make them bigger. So let's leave it like that. So this is basically a very nice feature. We can of course also then customize it. We can customize these texts by writing down something else in between these lines and we can also replace the photos right here by simply going onto our finder and after we found a nice photo like something around like this we can simply drag it and paste it. This will simply paste it to all of these content elements but we can of course also say we don't want to uh, paste it to all these elements. So we simply click ungroup grid and or let's go back first so we don't have this photo anywhere. Let's say we want to ungroup grid and if we drag it over right now we only paste it on this one. You see it looks a bit weird because it's the wrong way around so we can simply go over here and add 90 degrees which gives us the ability to just position it right. We can then just scale it back to the existing measures and there we have it. We can of course do this with these other photos that we have here right uh, as well. And yeah, this was just a simple tutorial to show you how you can manipulate the existing content. You only have to create this first content uh, area and after that we can just uh, scale it down. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time and enjoy your week. See you! Bye.